What's up guys, welcome back to another episode of Plark Scrolls. As you can see, it is dark. Uh, let's go see what time it is right now. It's 8.58 at night, or 20.58 at night, and I have a goal to try to get this running very, very soon, so I'm gonna continue working on it. Um, finally got a good work light. Uh, got it at Home Depot, I'm just gonna show you real quick. Dang, it's too dark for this one. Yeah, they see that first. But it's a husky work light and has a little like magnetic thing on the back side of it. So it can mount on to like under the hood and stuff. And it's good because I've actually been needing one. And um, yeah, so I found my valve cover gasket. Uh, my valve cover gasket was actually in my car. I didn't know that. I'm going to check the shed, my storage. And um, yeah, it wasn't there. I also pulled out my exhaust manifold because I'm going to try to put the, the turbo and the exhaust manifold and the elbow together and um, I guess mock it up but I have a Felpro gas, um, valve cover gasket, got it from Rock Auto. I'm trying not to be too loud because it is nighttime and it's, it's yeah, it's, it's a uh, work night and I can get in trouble for noise. Um, here's the valve cover. After it's dried, it looks pretty sick. I think I should get a Tomei um, oil cap, maybe later on, I don't know, we'll see. I know the Tomei uh, oil cap is pretty expensive. So we're gonna go ahead and put the camera down, probably move around, oh wait, let me go show you something real quick. So another thing I did was, uh, not too long ago, I actually just tried to continue wrapping my brake booster with, um, some I guess reflective wrap so because I noticed that when I was drifting when it was running my brake pedal got extremely hard and um, I had a feeling that it was heating up the, the brake booster so yeah we'll get to uh, putting on the valve cover back on I'll show you a little bit of what I do and it's gonna be in sequence also let's get to it So I got the valve cover on, torque down, sequence. I'll show you the sequence or the, yeah, the, the torque sequence for the valve cover right here. All right, so I know it might seem a little anal with the torque specs, but that's just the way I am. Want to make sure things are tightened down properly and to the correct specifications. Man, I got a lot of work left to do. It is late. I do have work tomorrow. Um, shit, what else do I gotta do? I need to go ahead and replace my oil feed line. Um, what else? See this little heater thing here? Right there, this little baby. I got a little trick for that. Um, fellow KAT S chassis fanatic of mine friend uh, messaged me about it and he was like hey um, I got something that you can plug that up because I know you're going to delete the heater hoses so um, probably do those things tomorrow uh, man I feel like I do need to get a new knock sensor because that thing is freaking cracked I put in the spark plugs just so nothing gets into the cylinders uh, even though I haven't been covering it up I need to put yeah I got a lot of work to do left man so I'm gonna be trying working on this every day after work but um we'll see so hopefully we'll see you in the next clip all right so what we have here is nice time racings oil feed and oil return kit uh those guys make a lot of good products for k24 de's and building into turbos um, eventually one day when I do go standalone and convert to coil on plugs I'm gonna order their some of the some more products from them but uh, for now we're gonna go ahead and replace my oil feed line um, I'm gonna go try to 
mock up the turbo with the exhaust manifold, the Tomei exhaust manifold, and the Tomei elbow, so I can see what I'm missing if I'm missing any bolts. So um, yeah, let's go ahead and take a look at my old feed line. Here's my old oil feed line. Um, I'm gonna pull it out of the oil sandwich plate, which is a glow shift sandwich plate. And then I'm gonna go ahead and route it. As you can see, I didn't route it very good. So um, hopefully this new oil feed line, pretty sure it's gonna be way better than this one. All right, so you remember that thing I was talking about for the heater hose? Dang, it's dark already. Anyways, it's right here. Uh, I got a little plug from my friend Jay right here so we're gonna use this I'm gonna pull that out down I'm gonna use my light already we'll pull that out and then um, we'll replace that we'll block it off basically by the way huge shout out to Jay you know who you are if you're watching my video thank you very much um, yeah let's get to it So we got my Tomei exhaust manifold. I haven't opened it yet. As you can see, since I got it, we're gonna go ahead and open it. Uh, and then we're gonna blade, and let's go see what's inside. Damn. Some hardware. Alright, so here we go. Bottom mount. Tome exhaust manifold. Looks like top mount right now, right? Let's go flip it around. Tome, baby. So, yeah. I'm going to go ahead and try and mock up. Open up the rest of these boxes. See what hardware is inside. There's some hardware. Oh! Some goodies here. Look at that, Tome. Tome, 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 Tome. Anyways, uh, yeah, we're gonna go see what else I'm gonna need because I really don't know how the turbo is gonna mount onto everything. Okay, first snag. Here we go. Don't have the nuts for this, so I'm gonna need to pull one out, go to Home Depot, and get some nuts. These nuts, huh? So that's the first snag. Um, shit. So that's gonna chill here for a little bit. Cause Tommy has awesome, awesome quality. Uh, busted out my turbo. It's a little. Uh, uh, but it is getting dark. Let's go bring the turbo onto the table. This sucks, but oh my goodness, my little itty bitty turbo. What the hell is in the bag? Tell me something I need. Oh shoot, that was something I need. Anyways. Here's my turbo, here's my oil return. We're gonna go and change this out for a nice time racing kit. Actually, you know what? First, before that, we need to make sure that this fitting. Oh, come on. We'll do it this way. Where is that? So, the nice time racing kit did come with a well on bung for the oil pan. And I actually already have one on my oil pan, obviously because it's already boosted. But I want to go find out if it's the same thread pitch as the one that's already on the oil pan. Um, oh yeah, okay, so we're not going to have any issues with the new uh, or return 
So we'll go ahead and swap that out. Damn. Really. Hit this time lapse. Alright, so I hit a snag when I was installing the new uh, drain, the gasket that I came with the kit. It's a little short, so it couldn't reach the bolts for my turbo, which is fine. I guess I can reuse the, the old gasket that I got from Kinugawa. That was the original, I don't know, the original, but that was my, my oil drain prior. So, but I really, Jesus, look at the stainless steel really love this kit by nice time racing so um i hit a couple snags today <laughs> need to go get some stuff from home depot um and then i'm gonna do that tonight because um you know i gotta gotta go spend some time with my son eat some dinner rest for work tomorrow probably go to um home depot tomorrow find some time to get the nut for this uh, I need to go pull out the tur- oh wait there's one more thing here forgot I need to go try the new fitting for the oil feed shouldn't have any issues but dang it's got the looks like some termites or something some flies some bugs flying around but um I guess that's it for this portion uh we'll see what's gonna happen on the next clip all right so I'm gonna go ahead and end the video here um Stay tuned for the next one. So remember, be safe, wash your hands, wear your mask, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you next time, all right? Awesome.